Hi everybody and welcome to a new video in the Generative Music AI course. We are at the last leg of this long journey that immersed us into the fascinating field of generative music. Today we start phase three of the course that's called Generative Music Tools for Musicians. In this phase we're going to target musicians and allow them to experiment and explore state-of-the-art generative music systems. Engineers can also take advantage of this phase because they'll be exposed to state-of-the-art systems but of course we're not gonna get into the same level of technical detail that we had in phase two. We're gonna be covering three state-of-the-art generative music systems, Rave, Compose and Embellish, and Mustango. Rave and Mustango do audio-based generation, whereas Compose and Embellish uses a symbolic approach. We also have a primer on the sound of AI, because I won't be the person guiding you through these three models. Rather, we're gonna have Iran Drummond, a fantastic audio MIR and generative music researcher who will guide you through all of those systems. Iran has a great YouTube channel where you can find a lot of technical details about all things at the crossroads of audio, speech, sound and music. You'll find a lot of talks there and there are also videos where Iran explains complex topics. I highly suggest you to go check out Iren's YouTube channel and I'll leave you the link to his channel in the description box. Without any further ado, I'm going to pass the torch to Iren who's going to present Rave in this first video. I'll see you in a few videos. Have fun! Hello everyone! In this video we will talk about Rave or the real-time audio variation of autoencoder. My name is Dr. Iran Roman, but nobody calls me that way. Feel free to simply call me Iran. A few things about me. I'm a postdoctoral scholar at New York University's Music and Audio Research Lab. I maintain the website musicinformationretrieval.com. If you haven't, please visit us. I graduated with my PhD from Stanford's Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, or CARMA, where I teach a summer workshop on music information retrieval research every year. My research interests include theoretical neuroscience, MIR, spatial audio, and multimodal AI. You can learn more about me and my work by visiting my website, iranroman.github.io. In this video, we will talk about RAVE, a model for audio synthesis that can be used in real time. This model was originally proposed by Antoine Collion and Philippe Essling from IRCAM in France. So what are we going to cover? Pretty simple. We will cover the RAVE model architecture and then we will see how we can use it to generate audio. RAVE uses a variation loud encoder architecture, which consists of an encoder that takes an audio signal and converts it into an embedding or latent representation. This is followed by a decoder, which can decode or reconstruct the original signal from the embedding. All of this starts with an audio waveform, here denoted by the variable X. The audio waveform that we want to encode or learn using RAVE. To encode it, RAVE first converts the audio waveform into a time frequency representation, and then compresses it using convolutional layers. At the end of the compression, we arrive to Z, which is a vector of Gaussian distributions. You can think of this vector as an executive summary of all the information contained in this audio waveform. C is also known as a latent representation. The reason why Z is called a latent representation of X is because, in theory, we can recover or reconstruct X from Z. RAVE does this by decompressing the, inform the information in Z using a chain of upsampling layers until we reapproximate the original signal, the original signal waveform and noise. When we put all of this together, we get X hat, which is a reconstruction of X and RAVE's final output. Variational loud encoders, or VAEs, like RAVE, do not just allow you to encode and decode signals. 
These type of models possess an emergent property, which is generation. Let's see how it works. After training a VAE, you can use the decoder on its own to generate signals. To do this, all you need to do is create a Z vector and decode. This is possible because the model knows how to use values drawn from a Gaussian distribution to generate meaningful signals. Therefore, using a simple Python function to generate random numbers, like NumPy random randn, you can produce the information necessary to resynthesize new, never before heard sounds using Rave. Cool! So now let's learn how we can use Rave. This is a collab notebook. This is an open platform that you can access. And on the course website, you can find this notebook so you can follow along and also play with it yourself. First, in this cell, we're going to do some imports. We're going to import tools to do audio display so that we can hear what we are processing through Rave. We're going to use also general purpose libraries like Librosa, Soundfile, NumPy request to download and uh, we're also going to be using PyTorch in this demonstration. So let's run this. You can run it by clicking on the cell, pressing shift and then hitting enter. Great. So the imports are done and now in the next cell we will go ahead and download an audio file. You can also use your own audio file. In fact, I will show you how to do that in a moment. But in this function, we're going to download an audio file from uh, Karma, from Stanford. So it's a guitar track. Uh, you, can, you will hear it in a, in, a, in a second. Nice. So the file has been downloaded. And now we can press here, play. Cool, so let's move on. You may be wondering, so how can I use my own audio files? That is super straightforward. All you have to do is have your audio file ready. Here I'm trying to find one that I have prepared for this demonstration. Um, and here it is. So you can click on this menu. This opens this panel. And here you can just drag and drop. So I'm going to, for example, take my audio file. I'm going to drop it here. I get this message about how the audio files are going to disappear after this session is done. But that's OK. We're, I'm going to show you also how to download the outputs. My audio file is called Pluck. So I can change this for Pluck instead. And I'm going to create a new cell so that I don't have to rerun the whole download of the other file. And if I do this, then that's my audio file called Pluck. Great. But for now, what we're going to do, we're going to continue working with the original, um, with the original audio that way. So I'll run that. And let's move on to, oh yeah. Let's make sure that the audio is still there. Let's move on to the next cell. In this cell, we're going to download the weights, the pre-trained weights for Rave, and we will build them all. I have these URLs, so we uncomment this one, and this is a Rave model that was trained with percussion instruments. So it's a, it's, it has learned how to listen and how to reconstruct many types of percussions. We can run this cell, and we get the model. So right now it's downloading and the model is built. In this next cell, what we are going to do is we're going to load the audio file. We're going to prepare it to be a torch object. And after that, we're going to encode and decode the audio with Ray. Let's see how it sounds. So you should be able to recognize the original uh, guitar track, but now what you will notice is that it has been transformed into this 
um, essence of percussion. And that is because we're using a rave model that is trained to uh, encode and decode percussion instruments. So in that latent space, the latent space allows rave to basically transform into a representation that is similar to what a percussion instrument would have been. And that's how we get our audio sounding like percussions. But there's other rave models that we can try. For example, let's comment this out. And instead, let's use this vintage model. This vintage model is trained with music from before the 80s. So it's music that is recorded on all hardware and it's going to have scratchy sounds. Let's have a look. The model is ready. That took a while to download, maybe on your site. And we can now encode our audio with the vintage model. So there you go. That's how it sounds with that model. I left here a few other models that you can try. I'm going to show you this NASA one because this is a RAID model that was trained to process the speech from uh, NASA missions. And it's quite interesting to listen. So let's build the model. Here we're downloading the model. And after that, it's going to be built. So now that the model is built, we can again encode and decode our audio signal. So you probably can recognize some sounds that sound more like speech, and that is because the model is trying to use, um, reconstruct something that sounds like speech because that's what it was mostly hearing when it was trained in, with the NASA recordings. Nice. So there's a couple more models that you can try if you want, but what I'm gonna move on now is to show you how you can use Rave to generate audio from scratch. So for example, let's go back to that um, percussion instrument. And in this cell, while the model prepares, I'm gonna show you what's going on. We are gonna generate audio from random numbers. What's going on here? Well, we are generating using NumPy random randn, a, a vector of Gaussian values, values drawn from a Gaussian distribution, and that is Z. So here, we're going straight into the latent representation of Rave without encoding audio first. Once we have this representation, we can go and decode X hat and generate audio. So let's have a look, let's see how this sounds. So that is Rave trying to synthesize sounds that approximate the types of sounds that it saw during training with that um, percussion data set. Let's now go and try the same, but with the NASA model. So again, we're going to generate random numbers and we're going to decode audio from those uh, Gaussian numbers that, that, from those numbers that were drawn from a Gaussian distribution. And not surprisingly, it sounds like speech. Now, you may be wondering, well, those sound, that, that's, that sounds pretty cool and that, that I think I can use those sounds. How can I get them? Well, again, on this panel, if you open, you can see that there's a bunch of uh, files and one of them is called model output that wave. In this demonstration, every time that we run, we were writing to this model output that wave, but clicking on these three points, you can download it. And from there, you can use it in your digital audio workstations. So there you have it. That's Rave. A fun fact about Rave is that it was rejected from publication from the International Conference on Learning Representations in 2022. However, RAVE has been very influential and useful for the AI community of researchers and creators. And even though it was not published in a peer-reviewed venue, you can find and read the paper online as well as use the code.